Hello everyone, this is Miss Lina Ode and this is English grade 10 uh, for this week starting from February 11th. We're going to work on uh, a project, a small project, class project. This project is called Comic Strips. You'll enjoy it since it's comic and since it's a strips. In this immersive project, you will work individually to create a captivating co comic books, uh, exploring the ideas of power, jealousy, honor, manipulation, manhood and wom womanhood. Uh, so basically very serious um, themes on comic. This kind of, I would say... Uh, I, I, contradiction will create a very nice comic book. You will brainstorm and choose a specific theme related to power, jealousy, and honor. The, the selection of the idea should um, manifest into uh, illustration. You pick a graphics in this step or you, uh, you draw them yourself. Uh, so in this particular class, you're gonna choose your theme and then you're gonna draw, but you will not assemble it all together. The following class will be the assembly. So as for the presentations for the project, after you've assembled or you will have assembled your project, you will work on presentation. Uh, not only will you show the students how you've uh, assembled the pictures, the graphics, how you've uh, drawn them before, but also you will show them how you made it funny, how you made it attractive to, uh, to the students, how you made it attractive to the teachers, and then we're going to work together in order to basically hang it in the class. As for February 13th, uh, we're going to start with Act 4, Scene 1, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it a lot since we're done with the climax and now we're reaching the falling action. As for the falling action, you're going to read and comprehend the acts, and then we're going to work on the vocabulary list as well. Uh, so what happens in, uh, and the, on this activity particularly, you're going to fill in the table with the traits of the main characters, Let's take an example. For example, uh, cursing at Rodrigo in the opening scene. This character trait is impatient. How does this advance in the plot? It, uh, you, we could say he basically uses and maneuvers everybody around them. Another activity that is going to be done in the class is a biography. And of course, this one, it can be done orally. We're going to review the details of Othello's life, military service, and what led uh, to his undoing or what leads to his undoing. And then uh, over here, we're going to also evaluate the importance of the quotes taken from uh, the play. As for challenge, uh, you're going to use some words that we've already used on this table. And for the following class, we're going to start with Act 4, Scene 2. And again, for Act 4, Scene 2, we're going to have some other activities. This time, we're going to move, uh, we're going to use some other, um, I would say, uh, uh, main characters' traits and how, what they're doing and how jealousy was built all over the story, how, I would say, the naivety of uh, Desdemona affected the course of the story. For another one, we're going to write a biography, but this time for Iago. It's going to be a short one, and it can be, uh, it can be also an oral one. Uh, for this particular, I would say it's my favorite. For the practice, we're going to have this poem. We're going to read this poem, and we're going to see how much do you think Shakespeare has been influenced uh, to write uh, this um, play by reading this poem. It's very nice. As for the last day of uh, this week, we're going to read and comprehend. This time it's not only multiple choice like any other time. This time we're going to have to write because you have to ha be ready before the exam that is going to come in the following week. Uh, if we learn how to read and comprehend and then write with written responses, it's going to be easy for you uh, to basically read and comprehend any other piece. And of course here I've hyperlinked some uh, websites for you to work on with of course writing uh, responses written responses instead of only mcqs thank you so much and see you next week bye